Well, <clears throat> what you've been hearing uh, is a uh, program uh, or a mode called PSK31. Let me get you back over here. PSK31. Now, I've done several of these videos in the past, so uh, really this one's going to just barely touch the surface. But anyway, for you relatively new hams or for anybody that's interested in uh, communications, uh, ham radio operators have been text messaging uh, each other decades before the internet ever came out. Uh, and they were doing that using radio signals. Well, that's still going on, but we now have uh, pretty sophisticated software. The one I'm using right now is called FL Digi. I'll put a link to that in the uh, description down below. Uh, FL Digi. Uh, they're revising it pretty consistently on, I'd say, a monthly basis. They'll come out with a, some new version or has a few more tweaks in it. But anyway, it's very up to date. And it allows you to decode PSK31 signals, along with dozens of other uh, digital modes, what we call digital modes text messaging modes, and uh, even including uh, Morse code. It will decode Morse code pretty reliably as long as the person sending it is uh, reasonably proficient at sending it. Uh, <clears throat> it'll even do uh, Morse code. So we're using FL Digi right now. I just want to show you the software a little bit uh, running on the Flex radio. Now, if you don't have a Flex and you have a regular radio, you're going to have to step out there and buy something called a Signal Link or a Rig Blaster, which is just simply a sound card in a box. And it permits you, with a special cable, uh, to attach your radio directly to your computer and uh, on a COM port. And uh, there are USB serial adapters that do that. So if you have a computer and it doesn't have a serial port, it's not a problem. Uh, once you do that, then you can send the audio from the radio into the computer and the software can decode it. And you can type a message and click transmit and send that back to the radio and it transmits uh, digital tones to whoever you're talking to and their computer decodes it. So entirely via radio, there is no internet involved. <clears throat> this is being used, by the way, by a lot of emergency uh, management personnel to send messages uh, within the various disaster areas or during disaster drills. Uh, you can even send a file, a computer file. It's possible to do that. So you could actually send some kind of a small file. It couldn't be gigantic but because the data mode is so slow. But you could send uh, some kind of document or something like that by radio uh, by sending a computer file. So you could probably send a Word document that didn't contain pictures, you know, but it was just a Word document file. You could send that via radio. So let's uh, switch over here and I'll kind of show you this software again. Maybe it'll uh, tweak your interest in uh, learning about this mode. And we'll switch you back over here. I'm going to turn the sound back on so you can hear what it sounds like. But normally when I'm running this mode, I either, either have the sound turned way down 
or um, off, uh, so it doesn't bother me, basically. So anyway, let's. Uh, I've got the flex radio running. I'm sitting on 14.070, which is one of the frequencies uh, where ham radio operators uh, hang out. And here are the signals down here. You can see them. So let's open up that FL Digi that I just talked about, and we will decode some of these signals. And you should be getting pretty good resolution on the screen. And as you can see, uh, we got some messages coming across right now based on the tones that are being transmitted over the radio. And in order to talk to one of these people, all I have to do is click it, all right, and I'm on their frequency. <clears throat> you can see where I am down here in the waterfall. This little red uh, indication shows where I am. Of course, I can click over here or somewhere where there's not a signal, and it's good for them to do that before you transmit uh, a CQ message, get out of the way of everybody else. Move yourself where there's a clear frequency shown on the waterfall, and then you can go about transmitting. In this video, I'm not gonna go through the various features of this program, uh, just a couple of them, just to tweak your interest. If you come up here to operator mode, you can see all the dozens and dozens of digital modes that are available in uh, amateur radio, including weather faxes. So this software does do weather faxes. You know, ships at sea uh, will get their a lot of their weather maps from their radio, uh, not from uh, the local TV channel, uh, they'll get it via radio, and uh, this software does decode weather maps. So it's being used by maritime uh, radio operators to get weather reports. That's another one of its functions. <clears throat> anyway, pretty neat. Uh, again, you can see the signals coming in down here. All right, on the waterfall, and uh, you can click anywhere on the waterfall you want. So if we click right here, the software will start decoding that signal. But you don't have to do that. You can just simply click on the signal up here, and it moves you to that signal. It's a little bit easier. Just click on it. And... Uh, you know, it's got the transmit button, you know, the receive button, so you can transmit a message. To transmit a message, you just simply type it in here, you know, whatever you want to send. And when you want to uh, click the transmit button, uh, you will send this message to whoever you got on your receive uh, frequency. So it's basically uh, typing text, transmitting it, you know, listening and seeing the text decoded that the other person is sending and then sending an answer back over here. Uh, there are things called macros, which you can set up some generic text, generic text. So you don't have to type the same thing over and over again. Like uh, if you were going to call CQ, you can come down here to these macro buttons. Let me show you what one of them does. If I was to click this, it would transmit CQ, CQ, CQ from my call, which is W1XWX. It would send that three times, and then it would call CQ again and send it three times. And then it, this little uh, notation here, PSEK, just simply means please respond to any station. 
uh, and then it would turn it back into uh, receive mode. That's what this last command does. Anyway, these are macro buttons that uh, you can set up with your own unique message, and then you don't have to type so much. You could type a short response, you know, like here's what the weather is in Texas right now, and then uh, overlay the macro underneath your message, you know, some kind of generic information about your equipment or something like that that you transmit all the time as information. And it just saves on typing. So again, uh, let me get out of here. Well, let me uh, let you listen to the tones just a little bit. So these are the radio signals that carry the text. And then that software simply decodes those tones, kind of similar to what goes on during a, a fax transmission. All right, let me get you back on my smiling face. Anyway, just a general idea about PSK31, uh, probably one of the most popular modes of digital communication in amateur radio is, is the mode called PSK31. I'll put some links uh, underneath the video, kind of lead you around the internet so you can find out about PSK31. Anyway, everybody have a great day, as I usually do. Clear skies in 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See you folks later.